So let's look at the facts. They are 3D, cabinet oblique, receding lines are drawn at half length. Now there's oblique and there's cabinet oblique. Cabinet oblique is the more popular way to draw oblique, to do oblique drawings. Receding lines are usually drawn at 45 degrees. Like isometrics, vertical lines remain vertical. Unlike isometrics, horizontal lines facing the viewer remain horizontal. Obliques are generally easier to draw than isometrics. Okay, so on the screen we can see an isometric drawing to our left. This is a very simple block that is drawn in isometric, right? Um, we have our lengths, our lengths are the same, and our receding angles are 30 degrees, as you can see. And this is good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this block in oblique. We're gonna use the same dimensions, right? So we have a direct comparison of the two. So I'm gonna begin with the baseline, which is 100. Our height is 50. Coming across the top is also 50. We're gonna come down 25 millimeters. Come back out 50 millimeters and then close off the block. So this is the face of the block or the side of the block that is facing us. And um, this is what makes oblique a bit easier to do than isometric because this basically is a 2D block, right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some pieces to it, add the receding lines and so on, and turn it into 3D or make it oblique. Now, we are using the cabinet oblique method and our receding lines will be drawn at half length. So for the isometric drawing, we saw that the width of the block was 50. But for this oblique, we will go with a length or a width of 25. All right, and the angle, I'm entering the angle right now. It's a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna copy my receding line and paste it to all the points like this. I'm also gonna link um, I'm also gonna link an isometric drawing below so that you can see see me doing isometric live and have a pretty good idea of how it goes. All right, and this is it. This is our oblique projection. This is our oblique block. We started with a, the 2D outline of the face. We did the receding lines. We did them at half length, the receding lines. And then we filled in the rest of the pieces. I'm just gonna show you the angle here that it is indeed 45 degrees. And that's it. Now this is a very simple oblique drawing of course and there are way more difficult ones that we will do in the future but yeah, this is how you can get started with oblique. If you learned anything in this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. We have some very interesting content coming up. Actually, it's some different content. Right, so you won't want to miss it. And here you can see the difference between the isometric and the oblique. Thank you very much.